Good evening, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Learning Live. We have Marcy up tonight, and she is going to be working with some mixed media stuff, 49 and Market, which we all love, and showing you how to pull so many of these amazing elements into a layout. And she'll also give you some tips on how to add extra photos as well. So Marcy, the camera, the screen is yours. You can take it away. Hi, everyone. I hope everyone had a good day today. Hi, Carmen and Caroline. Um, hi, Dale, Darlene. How's everyone doing? Everyone doing all right? Hi, Diane. We're going to have fun tonight. Um, I'll just give it another few seconds. Hi, Shelly. Till a few more people log on and then we can get started. This is all the beautiful. The 49 in market is definitely my kryptonite. <laughs> this everywhere is to me is exceptional. I just, I love this line and I do have as everyone else, I do have a lot of um, travel photos to scrapbook. So this is going to help me as well. Um, okay, let's get started. Welcome to Learning Live. This is Marcy. And we're going to start with a little bit of uh, mixed media on our background. So I'm going to get, this is a Vicki Booten paper. I'm going to get, I'm using Unchartered Mariner. And I'm just going to add a little bit to a piece of acrylic. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of water to that. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Dion. Okay. So we're adding a bit of water. I'm going to actually, oh, look, I splashed on there. I'm going to add just a little bit to the corner. And then we're going to smoosh this down onto the paper and sort of create, I'm gonna do it a bit of a diagonal. There we go. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's just put that down a little bit there. Okay. And if you really wanted to, if you thought this was just a bit too dark, all you have to do is just add a little bit of water and it'll dilute a little bit more. You can move it around. It just gives it so much more character on the background. Let's just add a little bit there. Just like that. And then you can let this dry on its own or you could use a um, um, an uh, embossing machine and dry it. Um, what I would do is I would let this dry um, once it's dry, you can, if you find that it's buckling, uh, there's a couple of things you can do. I've sprayed a little, misted a little bit of water on the back and then try to heat it. Um, or you can just stick it underneath a couple of heavy books for a little bit and that will flatten it out. Or you can also just tape it really well onto, so this paper is actually, um, I, it's a 12 inch, 12, 12 inch by 12 inch, but it's cut down, um, half an inch on each side. Um, because I'm going to place this onto a piece of blue uh, basil coastal cardstock, um, which is at 12 by 12. I would let this dry and then I will add uh, a little bit of splatter. But through the magic of TV, I've already let this dry. Let's just say we already let this dry. And I just went a little bit further just to show you what I've done. So I added sprinkle, I added uh, splashes on it. And with the splashes, that's fun as well. So you would get a little, a little piece again of the acetate, add oops, a little bit of water, maybe a little bit more water. And you need a nice big thick water brush like this. So it's bulky on the top and it comes to a point that will give you beautiful um, splotches on your page so you can see that there 
Hey, Marcy, do you have yeah. any tips uh, for not getting splatter all over the rest of your craft area? <laughs> um, well, I'm a messy mixed media artist, so I find that I do get flicks. I get them all over my face and my glasses. And when I go to the store, people look at me funny because I have it all over my face. I would a nice big piece of paper like this, or you could do it even on the floor and you could put you can put it on top of a garbage bag if you want to flatten it put it on a garbage bag and then flick your brush that way to get your nice splatters okay so with this i am going to mount it this is let me move this out of the way this piece of paper is coastal cabana now, I know it looks funny. I like to conserve my paper. I know this is kind of would be all wasted space, but I can use this part on another layout. So this is, I cut in two inches and I cut here two inches. So it ends up being a 10 inch by 10 inch square. Remove that. I've actually loved using um, the washi tape as well. So I've taken the washi tape and I've added it to the top just like this. And you'll see in a moment why. Let me just take off these and I'm gonna tape it down. Oh, come on. No, it's not gonna come off. Come on. Come on. Murphy's Law. There we go. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to place this on the page like that. Oh, I forgot that's wet. And what I've done here, I've, I've actually, this also comes in this one here, which is absolutely stunning. This is the Vintage Artistry Everywhere Washi Tape Assortment. And I've taken this orange stripe and what, how I've done this part is you just sort of fold it back on itself like this. So it look, kind of looks like a ribbon, right? So just like that, if you can see that. And then I just sort of cut down here and just roll the piece so that it shows a little bit of the washi tape on top. And then I took out of the the essential everywhere file i'm going to use this piece i have to remember to bring that up this piece but before i use that what i did is i used a piece of cardstock and i put the large washi tape the washi tape map onto a piece of cardstock now, originally this paper was six and a quarter by six and a half. And how, what I did, how I did that is I actually used the top of this angled file folder and just sort of did it the same uh, curve as the file folder. And I did that as well with, this is the new Concord and Ninth, um, I think it's parsley, beautiful green. And this is um, eight inch by six inch. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to take, take this off here. We're gonna adhere it to this piece. Come on. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna adhere it. On. There we go. To that, I'm going to adhere. So what I've done is I've just added Suk Wang all along. They come, they sort of have um, these little flaps. So perfect to actually put on your page and use um, use your maps or tickets or whatever else that you you have collected on your trip. All right, so we're gonna add that onto this green mat like that. So now you have this 
cute little pocket. But I mean, you really would like to have a bit of a, at least one photo on your page. So this is a five by seven photo. You could do a four by six. You could probably even put a four by six and maybe even a three by four on here if you wanted. Um, I'm going to adhere this mat to this. Let's move that up a bit. Okay. So now you have a focal point. Now we're going to do a little bit of layering with some of the other elements in the, we're going to use the Everywhere chipboard map frames. We're going to be using some of this beautiful uh, defining words rub on transfer set. We're actually going to use uh, fern, the um, film strips. And which one is this one? The chipboard set, as well as the tag set. So I'm going to pull in. So what I did is I actually clustered these tags. And we're going to put that as an element up in the corner. We're just going to place that there for now because I want to show you, I want to take out the rub-ons. Now, when I use these rub-ons, the 49th and Market, it isn't like the old rub-ons where it was so difficult to come off and you had to rub and rub for forever to get them off. But these, I'm just going to cut around. These go on like butter. So this is, oop, this is detour. So you just separate the backing. Okay, let's just measure where this is. So we're gonna put that about there. We're gonna take our rub on stick and we're just gonna rub it on like that. Now, it does come off quite easily. You just wanna pull, oops, really slowly to see if it is adhered. And if not, you can still put it back down and pull it back a little bit more. Let's see. Oh, good. Isn't that beautiful? It's so sort of shabby chic rustic. I love it. So let's do one more down the bottom right. Let's see. Okay. So we'll do this one is says souvenir. So we'll put this one right there. We'll add on this one. And again, I don't know in the past if anyone else struggled with rub-ons, but I always, it was always a battle with me and rub-ons. There we go. Hi, Belle. But you made it. I think I might add on one more rub on and I think I might put it I think I might put it right there okay so this one says explore so this is this will be the last rub on and then we can add our elements okay so beautiful there we go and we're going to add I'm going to use this film strip. Now you can use this film strip a couple of different ways. You can put pictures in behind. Um, these are, I think they're mini wallet size. The one thing I like to do is actually add a strip of coordinating paper to the background. And all you really need to do is add tape to the one side. And then you would hear that. And then you would just pull it up and slide your pictures in. I also think that within one of these, what would be nice is using um, a rub-on and, um, and it gives it a bit more character. So for this, I'm just gonna put it, okay, I don't normally put things on an angle, but I like that. I like that on an angle. Um, we're going to add, we're gonna add to where the um, corner is ripped. I think we're gonna add that. Okay. No, I think I'm going to add it down there. And then, oh, the places will go. We'll add that up there. So there's a bit of a collage happening there. 
And then I will tape the tags right there. Sorry, I don't know what's happening out there. I've used the uh, chipboard map frames. So I'm going to add. Did you put the washi tape behind that frame? Which the, washi tape? Well, the frame that you just had in your hand, what was peeking through the, the window? The small one. This one? No, the small, the small map frame. Oh, yes, you're right. Yes. So it comes with, it actually came with this little piece and I thought it needed a bit more color. So I just added a bit of washi tape onto cardstock. And I'm gonna put that down here. Okay. And then this one, I think I'm gonna add, well, it covers it up. Let's move that up a little bit. So you can still see the uh, rub-ons peeking through. Now I should probably put some um, foam tape on that. And I think I'm gonna put that there. This, I'm gonna stick like this. Okay, so that is the page, but I think that most people would have more than one photo um, for a, a trip. So what I thought would be fun is, I'm just gonna move this aside. I have taken the, so this is, I don't think you can see that, where's my, I took the uh, ring photo sleeves. We are memory keepers and they're the six and a half by uh, a 12 inch. And we're going to take some of the tag, sorry, these are the files from the essential file uh, package. Okay, you get three file folders in there. What I did is I just trimmed it down just a little bit on either edge. And what I did is we're gonna slide this one up here, okay? And then I'm just gonna add this temporarily. This is where you'd have a photo. And I'm going to add this one on the bottom. So this is this one. We're going to add that on the bottom here. Nope, that's the bottom. Okay, there we go. We have it on the wrong side. There we go. Okay, so there's that one. And we're going to flip it over. Oh, I used the wrong one. We're going to flip it over. Hold on. I used the wrong one. So this... Let's put this back in here. Sorry, guys. So let's put that in here. And I will show you how I adhered this piece. And then that goes in here. Okay. And this one on this side comes in the Everywhere Essential file. It's as one piece. And it actually is like another file folder. So you can add all your bits and pieces and ephemera, maps, whatever in here. So you can, just to show you how deep it is, which is really nice. This top one on the other side, I'm gonna add the last flip file. Okay, and then you can put your photo there. And then this middle one, what I'm going to do is I've cut, this is a four by six, and I cut this down probably by say a quarter of an inch. And I've done this little bit of um, cluster to put as almost like, um, like another photo op or a, like a title page, just like that. And I'm gonna add it in there. So now you have room for Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I don't think I'd use this. This one is too pretty to use, but you could. So nine photos. You could even tuck photos in the bottom as well. 
That top one could be for journaling. This top one could definitely be for journaling. Yes. Yeah. I just, I love this whole, the buildings and everything and how you have compass. It's beautiful. So in the end, when you bring the other page back in your album, you will have one for a beautiful five by seven. And then a half a page. So a six inch by 12 inch for another nine photos. And you could even add another uh, 12 by 12 layout here as well. <laughs> yes, Darlene, I am channeling the flips and flaps. <laughs> you are right. You can get so much more on a page if you have flips and flaps. You taught me that. <laughs> so that is that layout. And then I thought for anyone that really loves sort of the six by eight uh, scrapbook, mixed media, what have you. I did one that would fit inside of a snap album. So this one, again, I used, oh, I should show you. So what I did is I took the washi and I actually tore it. And this is um, from the ticket. I think uh, I don't have the box out here. There's a washi tape and then there was one with a little ticket. So I added the tickets. Um, I tore the washi, put it in the back, added my Unchartered Mariner. And then these ones, these stamps, I absolutely love. These are the All in Create stamps. So this one has like a fountain pen and it has a paintbrush. And then I just love the little words. It just adds a bit of character to the page. And then these were the, um, the map frames on here as well. And this is a pocket. I glued this down, but you could certainly tuck a couple of photos in there as well. And the nice thing is, is it fits. It's a six by eight, so it fits into a snap album. Just like that. Yeah. If you were a 12 by 12 scrapbooker, you could still do that same kind of layout with the pockets just on a larger page, right? Absolutely, yes. And it comes with... Oh, let's see. It comes with quite a, oh, it comes with five of the colored pockets. And then there are two of the pockets with the flaps. And I use this one. I use this piece as well on the back of the six by 12. And then I use these three file folders. So using something like this, the flips and flaps and the pockets, you can really add a lot more photos and ephemera and maps and tickets, whatever, onto a layout. Uh, can we see the other pages in that album, Marcy? <laughs> well, if you do want to have the mixed media classes, there are some possible classes, six by eight classes in here, but you'd have to talk to Sherry to find out if, if, uh, if it's a go, if anybody's interested, let Sherry know. And then you can look through the book. <laughs> you can go ahead and give them a flip through, Marcy. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. So this again was, I love my oxide inks. So it's oxide inks in the back. I took um, paper from a book that was from a secondhand store and I sort of tore that and put it on, used my, um, my medium to attach that added a tag. This is some of the uh, Spellbinders tags. Um, this is another one I use. This is the Vicky Booten. And then again, this was 49 in market and it was um, Tranquility. Was it Tranquility? Sherry, I'm not sure which one this is. It's one of the newer ones. Tranquility is a newer one. Yes. Looks like it's the right colors for that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then this again was, I love my mixed media, adding oxide inks and sprays using this uh, sort of a written font background stamp as well. And then this was one of the old Vicky Booten um, stencils that have the gold hearts. Um, and then this one here is an all in create stamp. And with this one, I just added sort of the, um, the oxide inks on the back 
And then I took the beautiful Spectrum Noir markers and um, colored the butterflies throughout. And I think, I think that's, I mean, these are all just sort of samples. Anyways, there we go. I hope you guys like that sneak peek. Yes, Val, you're right. It does look um, very European. Absolutely. Does anyone have any questions or, oh, Rosalind, you might be interested in a uh, mixed media album. That's good. Let Sherry know. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this kit. If you did purchase it, we still have a few um, pieces, I think, left in the store. It flew off the shelf, um, but I think it's well, making room for three more. Yes, there are there are three more that should be coming in early May. Um, but the techniques that Mar Marcy showed could work for any, well, really any paper line. Um, yes. But it doesn't have to be travel. So if you like 49 a market, you could use the Tranquility. You could use um, any of the older lines that you may have in your stash. Or you can also wait for the new goodies. So the techniques there are definitely applicable regardless of what paper line you're using. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Marcy. And uh, this will be available on replay for everyone to watch. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow night for what's new. We have some fun, pretty goodies to share with you guys. So it's going to be a good, uh, a good what's new. Ooh. Thank you so much, Marcy. Everyone have a wonderful night. Good night.